Hey, welcome back to our P2P membership and your daily mobility series. Today we're going to work on the very important cervical spine, so the upper part of the neck. Um, this is a quick picture of your proprioceptive system, and that's what we're working on with this daily joint mobility series, is improving our brain map, so our brain-body connection, proprioception movement, and our awareness of where we are in space actually lives in the brain. So a really cool illustration for you just to kind of drive that home. Uh, we're going to start with the cervical rotations today. So long, tall spine again. Remember to breathe. Imagine your chin's on a board. And we're going to rotate head to the right, head to the left. We want to make sure that we're getting movement here at C6, C7, the base of the cervical spine as we do these movements. So that's rotations. Then we're going to go into lateral tilt. So we're tipping the ear towards the shoulder and tilting to the right and to the left. Again, we want to initiate or lead that movement out of C6, C7. We get that base of the cervical spine to move. A lot of times the rest of it will move in turn. And so really important that starting at, again, the foundation, in this case of the cervical spine, we get that movement happening first and then the rest of it should follow suit. That's lateral tilt, ear to shoulder and ear to shoulder. Should stay in your pain-free ranges of motion for these. Uh, as with all the joint mobilities. And then we're gonna go into anterior posterior glide. Um, in Z Health, they call this the chicken exercise. So you'll see why we're driving the head and nose forward and then pulling it back. Same thing here. If you have a partner, you can palpate on yourself. We can touch the base of that C spine and make sure that there's a little skin stretch and you're feeling that joint movement happen underneath your fingers. Uh, thanks so much. Keep moving with us. Keep practicing your joint mobility on the daily.